ESX generators will take the pain out of asynchronous programming, and what happens when you ask a neural network what it sees. I'm Rob Dodson, this is LazyWeb. ESX generators will dramatically simplify the way we write asynchronous code. How many people understand them? But first, we have to understand them. Jafar Hussein breaks down the concepts that power generators, like iterators and observers, and demonstrates the power of asynchronous iteration. You'll want to watch the video a few times to grok the examples, but once it clicks, you're golden. Let's do one cheese and one pepperoni. Learn accessibility testing in the time it takes to order a pizza. Marcy Sutton introduces us to semi-automated accessibility tools like Chrome's A11Y Audit Tool, which will give your site an accessibility report card, as well as fully automated solutions like Angular's Protractor Test Runner. The talk also demonstrates what a unit test for accessible attributes should look like. You can find more info down in the show notes. Why should I use SVG? Because it's a rainbow of awesome! In this talk, Chris Coyer explains the basics of SVG and how to use it for the web. SVG is a vector image format that uses markup instead of pixels, making it extremely easy to compress and also programmable. The talk highlights useful libraries for working with SVG, tools to incorporate SVG into your build process, and a ton of really awesome code pen demos. You can grab the links down in the show notes. Artificial neural networks help us classify and search for images, but what happens when you run them backwards? A post on the Google Research blog highlights what happens when you ask different layers of a neural network to amplify what they see in a picture. By switching to higher level layers, whole objects seem to emerge, similar to the human phenomena of pareidolia, or seeing shapes in clouds. You can get the full article, plus a gallery of generated images, down in the show notes. Offline caching means content is instantly available on any connection, but what about pages that aren't in the cache yet? In this video, Jake Archibald demonstrates the new background sync feature in Chrome Canary. Background Sync lets you download content even when the page is not running in the browser, and then later notify the user that their content is ready. The offline web wins again. That's it for this week, folks. Links to everything are down in the show notes. Click that little subscribe button, and to all you lazy webbers out there, thanks for watching.